Okay, welcome back. We're now going to be getting to the fun part of this and actually registering our, uh, not registering, actually sending this email to our registered users. Um, so we're going to test this as well. Um, as I said at the start of the video, uh, we have um, Dale and Ashley now with two valid email addresses that I have registered. So we can go ahead and check that this has been sent properly. Um, and we're also going to take into account greetings. So um, within the body, uh, let's just go over here. Within the body, we're not going to say hello username. We're actually going to uh, just write our body. So uh, of course you do uh, with the subject here. And then the email will automatically say hello X for their username. So we'll incorporate a kind of personal factor into this as well. So let's go ahead and actually get on with writing this mail users function. So I'll go ahead and uncomment this out. Now mail users is going to take a subject and it's going to take a body. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up my users.php uh, file and I'm going to create a function here called mail users. And as I just said, this takes a subject and it takes a body. So what do we need to do here? Well, not a lot. We need to query our database, uh, select specific data about each user where the allow email field is equal to one. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, write this query out. So the query is going to be select. Now this is up to you which fields you want to select. The most important is email because as we go through all of our users, we need their email address. But I'm also gonna, uh, I'm also gonna select their first name. That's about it. Um, from users where allow email is equal to one. So we're basically selecting all of the users where allow email is equal to one. Let's just go ahead and test this in here. So select uh, email first name uh, from users where allow email is equal to one. So click go. Uh, we are returned with Alex, Dale and Ashley, not Billy. So remember Billy has a zero. Okay, so um, now what we can actually go ahead and do is um, loop through them and send the email. So we use a while loop because inside this while loop, we want to say while row is equal to MySQL fetch associative array pass in the query uh, now while all of that so we encase that in parentheses doesn't equal false and this is just in case that you don't have any users in your table or no users um, have allowed their email or well, what do we want to do well we want to use our email function that we created in general.php to send an email we need to pass in two so the email address subject and body which we already have so two, where do we get this data? Well, we get it from row, which we've set here. And row is now an array, so we can just pass in email. And email here corresponds to the email address that we've selected here. So email, uh, the subject we've passed through to this function from mail.php here, this posted subject. So we just type subject and then body. But we want to make an adjustment to the body and we want to say, oops, we want to say, hello, so-and-so. So we want to say um, body and we want to say is equal to something and then uh, append on the body. So we're basically resetting this variable, uh, but we're adding something to the start of it. So what's the thing that we're adding to the start of it? Well, as I said, it's hello x, a comma, and then two new lines, and then we start the body. So here in x, we're going to escape out of PHP, and we're going to pass through row, and again, same as we did with email, first name. The first name corresponds to the first name that we're selecting from the database. So for every user now, this is going to loop through. It's going to set the body to hello, Alex, hello, Billy, hello, oh, not Billy because he's not accepting email, but Dale and Ashley. And it's going to email them to their email address, obviously, with a subject and our body, which we now have hello on. So um, let's go ahead and test this out. Why not? So uh, over to here. Uh, I've got my mail client open. 
Uh, at the moment, we are logged in as... Uh, who are we logged in as? Does it tell us? I think it's um, Billy. In fact, let's just go ahead and... Uh, and log in again. Oh, there we go. So Billy at phpacademy.org. So Billy at phpacademy.org is not going to receive emails. So let's actually just, you know, we'll just go ahead and, and test this out. So want to wear PHP Academy, of course you do. Okay, so a bit of a spam message, but just for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and click send. What's going to happen now is it's going to loop through all of these users. It takes a while, obviously, because it's sending a few emails out. Email has been sent. Um, and now we can go and go ahead and check this. So uh, let's open up uh, our webmail, Billy at phpacademy.org. Let's log in and let's see. An email should not be there because we've only selected uh, users uh, that have email set to one or allow email set to one. So no email. That's good. Let's go ahead and log in as someone else. So we'll say dale at phpacademy.org. And let's check the email here. Now this should have received an email because we have that set to one. Allow email set to one. Brilliant. So we have an activation uh, email from earlier and we have an email want to wear PHP Academy. Double click. Hello Dale. Hello Alex. Of course you do. Ah, now we have seen a problem here. So why has this happened? Well, this is actually good that this has come up because now we can go in and, and sort of assess why this might be happening. Now, the reason that this is happening is because uh, what we're doing is we're actually looping through and we are setting the body variable with this hello something every time. So we're not making it unique. We're just adding to this overall variable. Now imagine if you were to send this to 100 people, you'd have 100 lines of, of code here, uh, of, uh, of hello, of greetings here. So we need to modify this uh, in some way. So what we do is instead of resetting this variable, we go ahead and we take the part that we need. So cut that out, get rid of this line here and use it just in here. Uh, and remember to um, concatenate that on with a dot. So we're not resetting this variable now, we're just placing it in every time and bodies remaining the same. So uh, let's go ahead and, and, and resend this just uh, so we know that it's working. So click send and we'll wait for that uh, just for a moment uh, while them emails send. Okay, so the emails have been sent. Let's go ahead and check the email again. Now this is Dale's account, so we should just say hello Dale, brilliant, so hello Dale, of course you do. Uh, let's go ahead and log in as uh, Ashley, and then we'll finally go ahead and log in as Alex. And obviously this time this should say hello Ashley, and then it will give us the, the, the same message as well. So there we go, want to wear PHP Academy, that will be the other one uh, that didn't work. So hello Ashley, Dale and hello Alex. So let's read the updated one up here. And this just says hello Ashley, brilliant. Um, and I'm not going to bother logging as Alex because it will be exactly the same thing. Okay, so um, yeah, now we've basically created this system that allows us to email all of the users that have set their preference uh, to the fact that they would actually like to receive email or if they do or don't want to receive email. So relatively straightforward with what we've already done here. We're looping through our users. We're sending an email to everyone with a specific field marked as yes or no.